you've logged in and have watched the show help guide. In this video, we will explain the Capture App interface and register an event while demonstrating program rules. Let's register an event for the Malaria Case Registration Program. Note that both the color and the icon that represent the program can be defined by the user in the Maintenance app, which is accessible in a web browser. This topic will be covered in more detail in Module 5. After selecting the program, any event registered for the program and the organization units the user has access to will appear. By using the filter button at the top right, you can filter the registered events by period or organization unit so that only events that meet your criteria will appear in the list. To register a new event, click on the plus icon in the lower right corner. A box will appear prompting the selection of the date the case visited the health facility. You will also need to select the organization unit, in this case, the health center, which is the location the case will be registered. Let's select Hatchet Fish Primary Health Center and then click Accept to continue. Note that you may need to hide your keyboard on the device in order to view the Accept button. With the date of the visit to the health facility and the organization unit fields filled in, you can then click Next. It becomes evident that this interface is quite different from what was previously demonstrated in the Capture app in a web browser. For example, each option uses large icons and color sets. Like the symbol and color of the program icon, these metadata within the program can also be customized in the Maintenance app. Each of these sections can be collapsed. You can see the title of the section, Diagnosis Method. Next to this, you see a value of 0 out of 1 and an up arrow. The 0 out of 1 indicates that there is one data element in this section in which none have a response. You can collapse this section by selecting the arrow. This will allow you to see the other sections. Let's expand the Diagnosis Method section again. You can also navigate to the section by scrolling down, finding a particular section of interest, and selecting it. Now we will fill in the details of the new Malaria Case event. For each element, options are selected by tapping on the option of interest on the screen. You can see that the option has been selected as it will have a check mark next to it. The number indicators next to the section headings are also updated as we enter data for each section. This indicates that there are now values selected for the data elements within that section. If we scroll down to the next section, we can see program rules in action. Remember from the previous subsection on event data capture for the web version that program rules are essentially skip logic in forms. They can be configured to show or hide options based on answers to previous data elements. Since we have selected RDT for the diagnosis method, the next section that appears is the diagnosis result RDT. If we scroll back up and select the diagnosis method as microscope, 
we can see that the next section that appears is no longer Diagnosis Result RDT and is now Diagnosis Result Microscopy. Fill in the data for the Diagnosis Result Microscopy section by clicking on the section header. Select PF as the result. When clicking on this, we can see the Treatment PF section appears. If we click into the Treatment section, the options available within it are ACT doses. If we go back into the Diagnosis Result Microscopy section by clicking on the section header and select PV as the result, the Treatment section now reads Treatment PV, and the options within it are doses of CQ and CQ plus PQ. Now that you have seen program rules in action, let's finish filling in the data for the event. Navigate to the section on Village and Age. Select the Village as Hatchetfish Primary Health Center and then tap Accept. Tap on the Age element and enter an age using the numeric keyboard. Then tap Next in the keyboard. Continue navigating through the sections and filling in data for the event until each section is complete. Select a sex, a diagnosis type, a treatment, and a referral. When you have entered all of the data, click on the blue circular Save button in the bottom right corner of the screen. Once you have selected this, the app will prompt you to either finish and complete the event or finish the event. For this example, select Finish and Complete. The second option, Finish, allows you to finish the event data entry while indicating the event is not yet complete. The new event will then appear in the list of events on the program page, and we can see that it has been completed as it says, Event Completed. Let's pause again so you are able to follow the activities and navigate through event registration, register an event of your own, and demonstrate program rules.